All right, today's the big test day. I'm gonna do this all by myself with my new gin pole that I built. Got all kinds of D-rings over here for the side stays, the four stay. Actually, that's the winch, and one of these is for the four stay. Yeah. My little uh, lift for the end of the mast, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's kind of cloudy. Supposed to possibly have scattered thunderstorms today. Hopefully, nothing will kick off. We'll see what happens. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Got my winch. Winch goes up to my gym pole. Next to eye bolts up there. All right, and then on the other side, my four stay connects the same way. Gin pole comes down, connects to the mast. A couple of ratchet straps. That bottom plate is solid seasoned oak, two inches thick, solid two inches thick. That stuff is not going to split or break. All right, then moving up the mast. I have a couple of tie downs right here wrapped around the mast and that's where let's see let's see if I can get a better angle yeah it's better okay so I got a couple of anchor points to stainless steel d-rings there and I have ratchet strap going through the eyelet and not using the hook ratchet straps are my side stays my temporary side stays for this mast and it comes over here comes over here and hooks into this bracket all right then I've got my mass support that keeps things up off of the trampoline and the crossbar it just kind of helps get it a head start all right I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous I'm to the point where I'm nearly nauseous because if this doesn't work, I break a whole lot of stuff. So we'll see what happens. I've also got a pretty healthy crosswind. A little bit to the head, but mostly cross. And it is windy out here. So if this is not going to work, it's going to do it today. cables need to lay over what and what where the ratchet strap needed to be to best pull that cable down that four stay all the way down where you can hook it up to the uh, what are they called the uh, the furling system so anyways I got it now I just gotta unhook the uh, some of the cables I've already taken down the gin pole and uh, now it's just a matter of launching off into the uh, into the lake put the sails up and go for a sail it looks like everything's going to work out really well in the gin pole. Uh, this is pretty bad conditions. It's been blowing pretty hard out here. A lot of wind and first time to put this up, not knowing where to put the cables. So luckily I had plenty of D-rings, plenty of uh, chain, all kinds of stuff to, uh, to help secure things while I try to figure it all out. be flying a hole with this camcorder in my hand. It was a little hectic on the start just simply because I didn't uh, I didn't raise my sail before I got out into the lake and then there's like 25 mile an hour winds over there and uh, white capping and it was a little bit rough but uh, anyways I've got a lot to learn on this boat. Still having a good time though. Sells really good.
Obviously should have brought me some sunglasses and maybe a hat.